Hello everyone. Welcome to the online video session. Today we are going to start our chapter number 3 for class 7th. In this module we will learn about the different rulers of Delhi from the 12th century to 15th century. So let's get started. Our capital Delhi has long history. People have continuously inhabited Delhi since the 6th century. However, it did not become a major city until the early 12th century. During the 12th century, the Chauhan conquered the city of Delhi and transformed it into an important commercial center. In 1192, with the defeat of Prithviraj Chauhan, Delhi again changed hands. And now, for the first time, it came under Muslim rule established by Muhammad Ghori. In 1206, Ghori appointed one of his generals, Kutubuddin Abak, as the governor of Delhi. Thus was the establishment of first Muslim dynasty in the Indian subcontinent at Delhi. It was called the Mamluk dynasty. From 1206 to 1526, Delhi was ruled by many rulers of different Muslim dynasties. They all prefer the title of Sultan. And so this period of history come to be known as Delhi Sultanat. It started with the Mamluk dynasty followed by the Khilji, Tughlaq, Sayyid and Lodhi dynasty. So starting with Mamluk dynasty. After Kutubuddin Abak, his son-in-law Shamshuddin Iltutmish taked the throne of Delhi. Iltutmish passed on the reign to his daughter Razia as she was more capable than his son. She was the only woman ruler from Delhi Sultanate to rule Delhi. In 1256, after Razia, Balban, the chief advisor of Razia's brother, ruled Delhi. He was the last of the Mamluk rulers. After his death in 1287, Delhi went under the control of Khilji dynasty. The first ruler of the Khilji dynasty was Jalaluddin Khilji. He was succeeded by Alauddin Khilji as an administrator who influenced many rulers of the following generations. In 1316, the death of Alauddin Khilji brought the end of Khilji dynasty. After the Khilji dynasty, the Tughlaqs come next. Giyasuddin Tughlaq was the first emperor of Tughlaq dynasty. He ruled over Delhi till 1325 AD and was succeeded by his son Muhammad bin Tughlaq. Muhammad bin Tughlaq introduced the copper coins in his reign. In 1351 AD, Muhammad bin Tughlaq died and Firoz Shah Tughlaq became the next ruler and after his death the Tughlaq dynasty became weak. In 1398 Tamur from central India attacked India so as to loot and plunder it. Delhi was in ruins after his attacks. He appointed Khizir Khan as the governor of Multan and Sindh and left India. Later, Khizir Khan founded the Sayyid dynasty which ruled over Delhi from 1414 to 1451 AD. After his death in 1421, the rule of Sayyid dynasty was taken over by Mubarak Shah. After his death, the dynasty did not last long. 
and Bahlul Lodi and his Khan nobles established the Lodi dynasty in 1451. After Bahlul Lodi, his son Sikandar Lodi ruled over Delhi and shifted his capital from Delhi to Agra. He was succeeded by Ibrahim Lodi in 1517 but was unable to gain the support of other Khan nobles who started fighting among themselves and being protecting against Ibrahim for the power. Finally, Daulat Khan Lodi, the governor of Punjab and uncle of Ibrahim Lodi invited Babur to invade India. In 1526, Babur defeated Ibrahim Lodi in the first battle of Panipat and founded the Mughal Empire in India. And so ended the rule of Lodi dynasty over Delhi. This also paved the way for the formation of Mughal Empire in India. So that's all for today. In our next video, we will study about the Ikta system during the period of Delhi Sultanate. Thank you.